Hello, and welcome to the final video of the Febuscary series. Over the past four weeks, I've systematically exposed the disturbing ways that human beings sexually exploit innocent animals and their reproductive organs for monetary gain. What is insane to me is that although these practices seem to be legally sanctioned, we can also find laws across the Western world which strictly prohibit sexual acts with an animal, aka bestiality. Bestiality is defined as sexual relations between a person and an animal. Bestiality laws in the UK are as follows. Whosoever shall be convicted of the abominable crime of buggery committed either with mankind or with an animal shall be liable at the discretion of the court to be kept in penal servitude for life or for any term not less than 10 years. Looks like all those who tamper with animals in animal ag could be looking at a life sentence in the UK. Buggery is defined as anal intercourse. Is this not what the UK dairy industry does to non-consenting male and female animals when they probe restrained bulls for semen collection and use a fist to penetrate the rectum of female cows for insemination? It seems we've found a clear contradiction here. According to Animal Legal and Historical Centre College of Law, there are only four US states who do not have laws prohibiting the sexual assault of animals. So that leaves 46 states where animal agriculture is committing crimes against animals in the form of bestiality. Moving on to Australia, every state has laws prohibiting bestiality. In New South Wales, you could be looking at 14 years for fiddling around with the privates of an innocent animal. Looks like Australian animal farmers might be at risk of legal action for their offences against young and vulnerable sentient beings. What baffles me is that we live in a society that defends children vehemently against sexual predators. We understand the vulnerable and innocent nature of children, which is why we have hefty sentences and even street justice to combat sexual offenders. We also understand that children, just like animals, are not capable of giving consent for sexual acts. And let's not forget the trauma a young, confused child might experience after falling victim to this type of abuse. So couldn't we too compare the trauma experienced by beings of a similar sentient capacity, like those innocent animals in animal agriculture, who are literally sexually molested every second of every single day worldwide for animal products? Here we see exposed by surge investigators, a worker who works at a dairy farm linked to the deputy president of the National Farmers Union, inappropriately interfering with a young cow's vagina. Watch as the young cow cowers towards him confused, as the offender comforts the cow by patting her on the face. This disturbing act resulted in disciplinary action against the perpetrator. Yet, the same type of animal abusing hypocrite dairy farmers who would discipline an individual like this for such a depraved act are every day facilitating the rape of male and female cattle under the guise of artificial insemination on dairy farms all across the world. But if it truly were artificial insemination, shouldn't the subject be consenting? It's legally required that human women give consent before artificial insemination or any sexual act for that matter. If they are non-consenting or like a child, unable to consent, it's no longer artificial insemination. It's rape. Through the victim's eyes, from the animal's perspective, how are they to know the difference between a worker inappropriately touching them for sexual gratification or a farmer inappropriately touching them for artificial insemination? Through the animal's eyes, they are being violated either way. This is all sexual abuse and it needs to end. I have a suggestion. Considering the laws protecting animals from bestiality, how about we file a lawsuit against every single one of the sexual predators who molest animals for monetary gain? Or what about those good-hearted people who pay via supply and demand for the same sexual abuse that society appears to morally condemn? How do you feel as a consumer paying for the rape, violation and sexual abuse of young animals? Is it not you? who are putting the animal abuser in business? Animal agriculture does not exist as it stands without the systematic sexual abuse of animals. So, if you oppose these crimes against animals, then it is an obligation that you oppose animal agriculture via your consumptive choices. To be vegan is to oppose all animal abuse. Thank you for watching the Febuscary series. Please share these videos far and wide and let's create a world where all beings are free from harm. Thank you.